time of year where we have our homes closed up, furnaces cranked up. So how do we make sure we stay safe? Gary's here from Home Comfort Experts to give us some advice. Some of us have the furnace cranked up, you know, more than others. Right. <laughs> yeah, the, well, the best thing you do to keep safe is have your furnace checked every mm -hmm. year. You know, we uh, talk about, you know, you always see things that happen. Different homes have fires, mm -hmm. explosions, that type of thing. You know, the best thing you do is have your, your maintenance done on your equipment. You know, we're out there. We check gas lines. We check for gas leaks. Um, we go through and make sure that, you know, they're everything safe. Everything from the furnace, the way it's burning, so you don't have any CO issues in your right. home. Uh, because there's a lot of those people, you know, not necessarily always your furnace. Maybe some people, if you lose power, they start a generator or they have a, some sort of backup heater that they're running. They don't think about their carbon monoxide. Um, but, uh, you know, you always make sure you have a detector in the house for carbon monoxide leaks. Now, in your natural gas, you can smell mm -hmm. it. So if you come home and you, you smell natural gas, you know, they have to add that stuff in it. Because it, it doesn't really have a smell, It right? doesn't really have a smell, but they add that in there. If you smell it, the best thing you can do is, you know, call your fire department. They can come out, shut the gas off, call us. We'll come out, we'll find the leak, they'll repair it. If you're on our club agreement, um, we do $2,000 worth of gas line repairs at no charge oh. if you're on our club agreement. So if you ever have an issue, we'll take care of it for you as long as it's on the inside of the house. Sure. And, you know, so, um, you know, it's always better to be safe than sorry. Absolutely. Um, and, and as far as those uh, CO detectors, you should mm -hmm. really have it, I'm thinking, in my house. So we have the basement, we have the main floor, we have the upstairs. Mm -hmm. Do I need one on all three floors? It's a great idea to have one on every okay. floor of the home. Uh, you know, if people, if they decide they don't want to have one on every floor of the home, they usually ask, where do I keep it? Well, where do you spend the most time in your home? In the kitchen. In the kitchen. Yeah. You know, you keep it in your kitchen. Some people, it's the living room. Some people, you know, they they want to keep it closer to their bedroom. Mm -hmm. I can guarantee you when it goes off, you're going to hear it, okay? Uh, they're very loud. Uh, the CO monitors that we have um, detect CO at a low range. So once it tell that it gives you a beep, lets you know that it's there before it becomes an emergency. We talked about this when you were here last time, but mm -hmm. um, I feel like you can't say it enough mm -hmm. because we use our dryers. Mm -hmm. um, Gosh, I feel like I do a load of clothes, even with the boys gone to college. Mm. I do a load of clothes every day. Right. Those things need cleaned out. You need to get them cleaned out. Talked before, like I said, uh, the lint inside those that builds up. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't get that cleaned out of there, it's very combustible for one. And two, it causes your dryer to run a lot more than it has to to get your clothes dry. So it wastes a lot of energy as well. You know, there's a, you know, a, there's a ton of home fires that start right. with the dryer and that lint. Like I said, it's very combustible. A lot of times they're in a plastic venting and that's not a good idea and they can catch fire very quickly. And even when it's freezing outside, like it is right now, mm -hmm. uh, you guys can still take care of that. We can still take care of that as well as duct work, you know, cleaning mm -hmm. duct work out. Uh, we have a lot of people that think that that can't be done in the winter time. The equipment that we use is HEPA filtered and we take that into the house. So it doesn't matter whether it. it's summer, winter, uh, with that dust and stuff doesn't get filtered back into the home. It gets removed and we take it with us. Is the free furnace deal still going on? It is, it is. Uh, you got uh, until, was it April 30th? Oh, that, that, it'll be spring by then, <laughs> yay! <laughs> uh, to take advantage of that. And uh, you know, if you purchase an air conditioner at regular price, uh, on the furnace side of it, the only thing we charge you for is the insulation. You get the actual furnace for free. It is a perfect time to do that. Get your free furnace right now because mm -hmm. you do not want your furnace to go out. It's a little chilly for it that. Is a, it's changing as we speak. It's unfortunate. I was hoping that we would go without winter. Darn it. <laughs> if you are interested in that free furnace, all you have to do is give them a call at Home Comfort Expert. 260-490-5100. We'll be right back.